Vashti, born into Babylonian royalty, the granddaughter of Nebuchadnezzar, the destroyer of Solomon's temple, daughter of Belshazzar, the last of the great Babylonian kings. His death is recorded in the book of Daniel. According to Jewish tradition, Vashti was the only survivor. Unlike Esther, she was not plucked from obscurity. She was from the great and noble family of a vast empire. She was trained from birth to assume the position of queen. She was probably the leader of a powerful political faction at court. Her husband Xerxes would have never thought to banish her had he not been egged on by courtiers who led another opposing court faction. But once he'd spoken, he could never rescind his royal command. But when the attendants delivered the king's command, Queen Vashti refused to come. Esther, chapter 1, verse 12. Vashti lost her position as Queen of Persia when she refused King Xerxes' command to display her beauty at a party for the king's guests. Her clash with the king gave opportunity for Esther to become queen. While Vashti's strength of character earns our admiration, we can also see God's sovereign hand at work in the situation. Esther's resulting promotion enabled her to save her people, the Jews, from being massacred. God works in the events of human history so that His will may be done, even in government. God had prepared Esther for such a time as this. We read this in the book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 14. Can you see God at work for good even when you are suffering for doing what is right? Resist the temptation to feel sorry for yourself. God may be using your circumstances for His purpose. Although you may not see the results immediately, you can be confident that God is at work for the best. God's purpose transcends every king's decision. You can read all about Vashti and her story in the book of Esther, chapter 1 through chapter 2, verse 17.